Addis bombarded him with 65,000 text messages. I love him. After just three dates. Then I thought we would just do what everybody else did and we would just like get married and everything would be fine. A pair met through an online dating service for millionaire matchmaking. And love, not everything is perfect. This was a journey. And I want to apologize because nobody would ever be more sorry. Addis says she never intended to hurt or scare the victim. She told police she made the threats because she didn't want the man to leave her. Addis also says she doesn't blame him for her incarceration. No, I love him. 65,000 text messages? I don't even know how that is humanly possible. She loved him, all right. She loved his money. And what the hell is a millionaire doing trying to date a two? I have no idea. I will not split the bill with someone if we're on a date together. You know who I split the bill with? My friends. So if you ask to split the bill, we're no longer on a date, we're now out as friends. And to be so clear, I have absolutely no problem paying. I would actually rather pay myself than split the bill. The way that I view things is that you should be taking turns paying for each other when you go out, as opposed to splitting it each time. It's kind of like treating each other each time you go out. It all works out to the same thing anyways. But some people get very annoyed with me here when I'm like, mm -mm, splitting the bill's not happening. If what she is saying is true, and she believes somebody should always pay, why doesn't she always pay first on every first date that she goes on? I, I, you know, I, I don't think she's gonna go for it. Let's just get one thing straight. Look at me. The hair extensions, the outfit, the jewelry, the eyeliner, the Charlotte Tilbury full face, and you think that I'm gonna split it with you on a date? Crickets. Crickets. I get too much done. I have appointments on appointments. Just to sit across the table to some crab? No thank you, girl. No thank you. Let me tell you something, ladies. There are guys out there, they're rare, they're really rare, but there are guys out there that appreciate this effort that we put in. They want to eat it up, okay? They want you and only you and they want to do right by you. Those guys exist. That's why when you go through your TikTok, you see people getting like flowers bought for them and the whole princess treatment thing. Bitch, it exists. The more you mess around with these guys that are not worth your time, the more you're blocking future blessings and the universe is not going to give you what you deserve. You need to raise your standards. Oh, really? I thought women did all of that for themselves. Now, when they want a man to pay for dinner, they suddenly do it for men. Guys, please don't fall for this foolishness. I won't. So tonight is date two with man from a couple weeks ago. Um, we were supposed to see each other last weekend, but I had to cancel, unfortunately. But... This past week I was working close to where he lives and so he came and had lunch with me like two days. The two days we were there and it was really cute. And I don't know, I really like him. So he's coming, we're going out tonight. We have like this whole super cute fun plan um, and then planning for a sleepover. So we'll see how it goes. I don't know, I'm really excited. But also I'm seeing someone else at the same time and it's someone from my past, so we're just like casually hanging out and having like mind-blowing sex. And I've never really, I've never been a like sleep with more than one person at a time kind of person. I don't have anything against it. Just be safe like I always am. But I don't know. So we'll see after tonight if we do have sex, if there's, if there's that connection between us. And um, I don't know, I'm feeling kind of giddy about both of them in like different ways. So I'll report back. Why are these 304s so ignorant, promoting their business to the world? What clowns are even smashing this chick? There's no need for me to say where she belongs. She belongs to the streets. <laughs> 